for a run. It's still dark, as you can see. I thought it was going to be a uh, like I thought the sun would have come up by now. It's like 20 to 7. I thought the sun rose earlier than this, but obviously it doesn't. Look at those arches, aren't they pretty? I'm pretty sure it's not long before the sun will rise. Maybe like 10 minutes or so. In fact, it is kind of starting. There's some cool art on the side of these buildings. I think there's more. Yeah, it goes all the way. All the way down. Maybe we'll look at it better in the daylight. <laughs> grab a shower we're gonna go over to the, uh, the crystal mosque today it's about 6k away i think we'll walk it won't tell to see that it's that far though we've had our breakfast we're heading out for a walk to the crystal mosque we don't know whether we're going to walk all the way or whether we're just going to see it from across the water i'm not sure what we're doing yet depends how lazy this one's feeling i suppose the plan was that we were going to play Pokemon on the way and get loads of uh, kilometres in. It's about six kilometres away. And so we could hatch eggs and things. But the internet is so bad here. I have no internet, no 3G. Still no Wi-Fi in the hotel either. Don't know what the deal is with that. So the plan is to walk to the mosque or near the mosque. See that. And then find somewhere with Wi-Fi. We found a McDonald's. McDonald's is usually a good place to get Wi-Fi. Um, or if not McDonald's, somewhere else, anywhere. I've got my uh, computer with me, so we can park ourselves there somewhere. And I need to upload, and I need to like book places, like I said. I don't know if I'm in today, today's vlog or yesterday's vlog, but I need to book and organise things. So yeah, that's the plan for today. I'm down on the waterfront, I think that building there actually is the Crystal Mosque. I think it may look nicer at night. Can't really see it on camera. Let me zoom in. See it there? Yeah, that's the Crystal Mosque. Kwalanterenganu waterfront. It is so unbelievably sticky and hot. It's like half 11. It's so warm. There's not one little bit of shade either. Anywhere. Do you know who invented what? Do you know who invented the chainsaw? Conversations. It goes dark Let me tell you the story. Um, and the man just uh, was pulled up by the side of the road then, and he's just said, "Excuse me, miss. Uh, can I help you with something, or do you want a lift anywhere?" And inside, I was thinking, "Yes, yes, please. I do want a lift." But like, it's too much like you should just say yeah. But I mean, I'm sure, like most of the time, things like that, they're fine. But 
I'm gonna just get in a random person's car. Yeah. Unless it's a taxi. Unless it's a taxi, yeah. <laughs> Not that we're hitchhiking, but question for you. That type of thing, like hitchhiking or accepting lifts, have you ever, or would you ever, accept something like that off a stranger? We get offered quite regularly, not quite regularly, but we've been offered before, and I've always said no. I just don't feel safe doing something like that. Would you do it? Let me know. <laughs> no, I do. This place reminds me of like, everything's boarded up and closed and everything. It's kind of like a town that was heaving, really busy like 30 odd years ago. It reminds me of, um, what's the place called in Cars? I'm like, they built a bypass. No, I didn't. They built, yeah, they built, was it Route 66 that they built? Or was it on Route, no, it was on Route 66, wasn't it? And then they built a bypass. So this is like a little town that like would have been busy. Then they built a bypass so no one needed to come to this town anymore. And like everyone moved out and all the businesses shut down. And that's what this place kind of feels like to me. This country is not built for like afternoon, lunchtime, walks. We're like sweating so much. We're just like talking about what we would love. We would love a melon, a melon juice with loads of ice in it. Oh, that would be so good. We found this little like park, what like grass area. We're gonna walk through it because we're hoping that there's loads of shade with trees. Oh. No, it doesn't look like there's any shade up ahead. What? It doesn't look like there's any shade up ahead. Oh, there's a play area, look. Oh yeah, through there. That's better. What a nicely decorated subway. It's really warm. It is, but we think there's a mall on the other side where McDonald's is. Aircon and Wi-Fi. I hate subways, they freak me out a little bit. Oh, hopefully, this is what we think it is, and we can get inside. It doesn't, I'm not hopeful, to be honest. Maiden Mall is where we are, but it's closed. <laughs> okay, we found maybe a way in. No clue. Oh, you've got to go, the mall's there, yeah, but... But look inside the mall. Everything is closed up. I don't understand. It's like, what time is it? Half past 12. Do they have like weird opening times or is it just like this that everything is just closed down? We found, oh my goodness, I'm so red and sweaty. We found McDonald's is just through there. I'm not really a fan of going to McDonald's, to be honest, but there is nowhere else in this place open, really and nowhere with wi-fi so Mackey's is gonna have to be look there it is we thought that it wasn't gonna be here for one minute because it wasn't like where we saw it on the map but it's here and it's open hopefully it's got some wi-fi drive through is very popular we arrived just in time maybe that's why everything's closed and the sign up on the window well, we've actually arrived like 33 12 33 the sign up saying that um it's closed for friday prayer between half past 12 and two we managed to get in see if we've got some food i've got a drink we have to sit outside though hopefully no wi-fi stays on and we can connect we're still at Matthews. the wi-fi is pretty good so I'm just trying to like I feel like I'm doing too many things like I'm uploading I'm editing actually no I'm not editing because that doesn't require wi-fi so I'm like trying to edit a thumbnail and I'm catching up on things on emails and I'm booking stuff and it's like crazy but I think I'm organized now with um with what but we've booked a flight out of Malaysia and I've booked our hotels for the next couple of nights and kind of what we're doing, which is very exciting. I'm also just applying to comment on the vlog because obviously I haven't been able to for the past, it feels like ages actually, but it hasn't been. I suppose in Malacca we didn't have uh, Wi Fi up in our room, so we didn't really have, I feel like we just haven't had Wi Fi for a long time. This is going to be a little bit late because obviously my vlogs, well, depending on the internet situation, are going to be up late. But I just wanted to wish Lauren a very happy belated birthday she's been like a subscriber 
forever like one of the beginning subscribers I think uh, so happy birthday Lauren hope you've had a wonderful day whatever you did I'm sure you posted some pictures on Instagram or something that I will have seen by now but yeah hope you've had a wonderful day we're leaving kind of got enough internet to be honest I was gonna say kind of got enough internet I didn't get enough internet but it kind of started going a bit dodgy so we are going back I think we're not gonna walk all the way to the uh, Bristol Mosque change of plan we're back at home we're a little bit far away but these were the uh, bits of art that I was showing you this morning I couldn't really see them because it was too dark they're pretty cool they're huge I've just come out for a little walk I wanted to go to the shop but it is a very unsuccessful trip so I fancied a beer and I kind of stopped drinking well I can't say stop drinking because I want a beer tonight but I kind of massively um, cut back on drinking I was finding myself like most evenings I was just grabbing a beer and sitting there and I was like it's ridiculous so I've kind of like more or less stopped and just having them very very occasionally now I was just in the hotel and I fancy one so I came out and I realised they don't sell beer here pretty much I've been in I don't know maybe 10 shops this area is really not um, touristy at all and it's predominantly a Muslim area. Muslims don't drink, do they? And so I think you can buy beer in like the big, um, big supermarkets or whatever, but I'm not anywhere near a big supermarket and all the smaller shops <laughs> do not sell it. So that really kind of annoyed me. Like I wasn't really that bothered, I just kind of fancy one. But you know when someone says that you can't have something and it makes you want it even more? That's how I'm feeling right now. So, never mind. No beer for me this evening. Oh, I've just come to the, uh, the street where our hotel is on. And the road's all closed and there's something going on. They've set that up quick. I just tried to go to bed and I realized that I haven't ended the vlog. So I figured I would just come on and say goodnight to you all. We are leaving Quadro and Gallim tomorrow. Um, to be honest, it's kind of been a bit of a disaster. I stay here. Um, yeah, I don't really know what to say about it, to be quite honest. But yeah, we're leaving tomorrow um, quite early, about half past eight ish. We need to leave the hotel to get the bus up north. I think probably there was more to do and things. It's just not having internet. I just haven't been able, like I've had no, apart from at the time at McDonald's today where I was like trying to work on stuff and book like I just haven't been able to look, research and find things to do around here and so it's just been a little bit of a nightmare and so we're just moving on so um, yeah, so thanks for watching today and we'll see you tomorrow, Good night. <laughs>